Can you walk on this microphone? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, you can hear me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Don't fall in love too fast. Number what now? 14 stupid things. Are you getting blessed? 14 stupid things most ladies do is being a slave to a man who has not married you. Now let me say this to you. Stop cooking for who has not paid your bride price. You are not a cook. Stop going to his house. Wash clothes. Those are the things my wife didn't do for me. Wash clothes. Some of them wash them, iron them. You become laundry. If he wants a dry cleaner, let him go and pay for one. You know what some young men will say? Ah, ha, ah, how will I know you can clean the house when you're not doing it for me? Tell him, come and check our house. I did sweep. It should know from the way you take care of your own house. How you take care of your parents' house. Some young men were in the crowd, they were hiding to listen. Now they came to check what I would say. And they are frowning. God has brought you here to deliver you. Stop cooking for them. If he wants to eat, he should come to the family house where your mother is, your father, and eat there. Don't cook, put for cooler, carry. If you cook in your house and he wants to eat, let him show respect and come and eat. Not you carry cooler, carry everything. One full cooler chicken. Another some guys are enjoying though. And another cooler snacks. You know enter bike. <laughs> you know enter bike. You now hold the cooler. You pass through gallop. You enter. I must marry. Now marry who? Oh, this is what you go through for love. <laughs> you now calm down. You now go, you wash the plate for him, you wash the spoon. You now give him. To show that you are submissive, you now kneel down to serve him. Ah! Holy Ghost! Fire! Like, like I said, if he wants to eat and you want to cook for him, in your house, your family house, your mom or your dad, anyone, they will cook there. Let him come there. Are you following me? And eat there. Not you carry food in a cooler. You go. After eating, you are still the one that will wash. To show how irresponsible he is, you will still wash it, still keep it. You now wash his clothes. You will wash. As you are washing, he's on the phone, he's playing game. <laughs> Can you see responsibility? Is hey hey oh that's who you want to marry that's who's going to be the father of your children irresponsible in my relationship I was so busy so busy I'm traveling here coming back traveling I said say, okay he said you're just coming I said yes um, so what she's into now started long ago I said okay I'm traveling there I'll see you hope you are fine is everything okay all right I'm traveling when I come back I'll see you hold this money keep this i'll say keep this one for me Pew, i'm gone i'm back somebody that is always available in the evening you see him in the morning you see him in the night you see him he's so available there's a problem when you come and knock on your gates see what i came to check on you did you sleep well okay i'm watching you <laughs> after a while i will call you are you okay people think it is love I'm telling you, all of those signs are not signs of law. Anything that will last is not rushed. Take your time. Call in the morning, call in the afternoon, call in the night. Say, the way this love is doing me, I can't hold it. This love, this love, this love is burning my bone. Pour water. Tell somebody, pour water. Say, pour water, pour water. <laughs> Am I blessing somebody? Being a slave, you clean his house, you wash his clothes, <laughs> you do everything. He will invite you to his mother's house, you wash the mother's clothes, do everything, cook for them, clean the old house. What you don't do for your parents? You clean the old house, do everything. 
You wash. Why? Because you want them to see you as a good daughter-in-law. Am I saying you shouldn't walk? Listen. Being well brought up tells you that anywhere you walk into, you must make it clean. As a young lady, anywhere you walk into, you must make clean. You must make sure the place is fine. If you see dirty things, you should wash them. But that should not be a criteria to being trapped by a man. Are you following me? Should not be. Because I'm telling you, most men, most ladies, why they are hurt today is when they remember all that they did and they were still thrown out. It, it, it makes them put a clause on men. But a man who have not done all of this for he says it's over. You don't feel hurt. Because you know you have not invested time, invested energy. And it's going to value it more. Can I hear a loud amen? amen. Number what? Number 15. Stupid things that most ladies do. I think we are almost out of time. Is loving a man and hating his family. I'm in love with him, but the mother is a witch. You are carrying the mother's photograph about. You are not praying for her to change. You are praying for her to die. So now he says, sir, this woman is my enemy. She's the one that gives my marital settlement. So anytime they say, open your mouth, command Goliath to go down. You see, the woman actually, she wore blouse in that picture. But you have used anointing oil to change the cloth to, to, to white garments. You pour oil. You step on it. Die, die. And she no agree because you are praying wrongly. You cannot love a man without loving his family. As a matter of fact, if a man has issues with the family, your coming to his life should merge them. You tell him if you say you love me, go and make up with your dad. Make up with your mom. I say, I'm not making up. Okay, sorry, we are going to have issues. If you really love me, go and make up with them. Let the parents see you as the connecting agent. Let them see you as the rallying point. Don't know if I'm communicating. Don't hate his family. They may hate you initially, but if you stay with them, they will love you. Initially. And that is very common when you're married, when there's inter-tribal marriage. Inter-region marriage. The Easterner marrying the Westerner. Am, am I correct? Southerner marrying the Northerner. There will be problems. But it's left for you to put your foot down and say, these are the people I'm marrying into. If I love this man, I'm going to be seeing these people. A young man, a young lady said, she will not marry a man who has a mother. There are ladies like that. They say, I love you, I love you. Say, I, I, okay, I'm going to love you. But one question. Is your mother dead? She is alive. No. If your desire is for the mother to die before marriage. It also means that you too, you will die before your child marries. It's the truth. Most times I give you life experiences. As you see me, so I don't have a secret. Though. As a day, that's why I will just talk up. <laughs> so that you will learn. My mom had about Benue. She had issues with, my wife is from Benue State. So my mom had issues with people from Benue while she was in the police force and all that. So when I said I was going to get married to somebody from Benue, she said, hey, my picky, those people. As mommy, I'm not marrying people. I'm married one person. I'm not marrying the old Benue. It's one. She said, my son, hmm, hmm, <clears throat> okay, oh, but Mm -mm. I noticed she was not so one day I asked her, she was giving me experiences I asked my dad, my dad was telling me parables he said, they say people from that side, they are like this they are like that, I said okay do you care about me? he said yes, okay if you care about me, you should be happy that this makes me happy I asked my dad and my mom, have I ever brought any lady to you that I want to marry? they said no, I asked my dad when I was growing up, did you ever have issues with me over ladies? he said no Fighting, yes. I used to bring news to the house after fighting. My dad would tell them in school, if you call me from school and say my son has broken somebody's head, I will ask you who. I will enter the car and run there. But if you say he stole or there was one lady somewhere, I won't come. Now I say, well, how come I brought this one and you are saying no? He said, because of this, because of that. So I said, okay. And I told her, I said, see, you have work to do. She didn't hate them. She was getting close. I noticed initial resistance. 
But today, if my father and my, and my wife, or my mom and my wife are talking, if I walk in there, they'll keep quiet. They are so close. They can gossip me. <laughs> I just walk in, they'll keep quiet. I say, what are people saying? Man of God. <laughs> Why? She didn't, if she had hated them today, she would not have won them over. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. Some things that they know, if they tell me, I will react. They will tell her. She you know your husband. He brings the torch. <laughs> if you tell her this thing, now the way go shout. So tell him this, this. He should reduce the way he travels. If he's driving, he should not drive James Bond driving. My father can't tell me that because I learned the James Bond driving from him. I'm very confrontational. If he tells me the way you are driving, you taught me. <laughs> so he can't tell me that. So they will tell her the way he's driving. People are complaining. So she will tell me. She will say, "My husband." But I go early so that you don't drive too fast. She has communicated that point. She better move early. Time is going so that you don't drive those kind of driving. I said, okay, okay, I'm going now. But she got close because she didn't hear them. There are some people when the young man says he's going to see the mom, he's quarrel. You are going again. You are going again. Anytime you go, when you come back, it is war. It is war. You only fight me, your mother. She, she, mommy's boy. Number what? Number 16 stupid thing Mrs. Lady make is marrying old men. <laughs> I'm very practical here this morning. Am I correct? People are watching. All over the world they are watching. So I'm, I'm practical. What should be the age gap? Highest between a man and a woman. Abraham and Sarah, our parents, 10 years maximum. Maximum 10. Somebody asked me, say, Papa, I want to ask a question. Because the question is bothering my heart so much. If somebody is in love, physical thing don't matter. I have a question. As well as a question. If a girl loves a man and loves the man very much, and the man is about 10 years younger. But they love themselves, oh, they love themselves well, well, oh. And the man is there. Should they let it go ahead and marry the small boy? But so long, they love themselves, oh. Is he answer me from the Bible? I said, I will answer you. Adam and Eve, who was created first? When both of them, now, let me tell you what. When both of them were born the same year, or even a year younger, I don't have a problem. Even two years younger, I don't have a problem. When you see a young man, you see the wife, and you are greeting the young man, say, is your mom fine? Why is she looking like this? <laughs> say, why is your mom looking? <laughs> it's not proper. Why it's not good to marry old men is, the old man is in another generation, you are in a different generation. What he sees as a joke is annoying you. He's cracking a joke. <laughs> He, he alone is laughing. You don't see why you should laugh because what he's talking about. <laughs> it's not in your generation. Very soon you get when your friends start bringing their young men. Their, that's what promotes. Check most of these young ladies who do that because of money. They are immoral. When they now see the young lady, their friend comes with a young man, another young man, they get tempted. It's immoral. Why you must not marry an old man is number one. His family will see you as a gold digger. They see that what are you looking for in this old man? Number three, an old man will die on your neck. <laughs> Am I com communicating? Number three, how come he became this old without a wife? Are you the one he has been waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> say ah daddy it's because it's a widower the wife died you will not die in jesus name what are the mysteries and the story around the death of the wife if he's a widower he should marry a widow are you communicating here a widower should marry a widow not you some people don't like that part Hallelujah. 
I say hallelujah. Yeah. Number what? Number leaving a church because of wedding issues. That's a mistake some ladies make. Your church say no, you can't marry at this time. You have to go through the formal training. And the young man said, No, 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 no. I'm in the hurry. I can't wait. Tell him, you met me in this church. This is how we operate in this church. If you say you cannot go through the six months marital counseling, I'm sorry. He said, I'm leaving. Say no problem. I'm doing this because of God. Many people have left churches because when they, it's time to marry, they have issues. Some of them cannot even submit their medical report. Tell your man, go and do a test. He start giving stories. Ah, do this test. Are they saying I am sick? Are they saying I am sick? I know myself I am well. Bring test. Good. What's all this drama? Do this test. Do HIV test. Do genotype test. I am clean. I am very clean. We know. Bring test. There are people that will argue. A young man was arguing. He says, I know my blood group. I know my... Said, we don't know. Show us. So I'm telling Don't tell us. Show us. Do you know that even in, in most churches, somebody on the wedding, they have to follow the girl to do a test. Because we live in a generation of manipulation. They will manipulate results. Manipulate results. A young girl was SS and the young boy was AS. They came from somewhere. So they said they want to marry. So they told me, say, Papa, we love ourselves, we'll get married. I said, that's fine, but do something. I'll put you on prayer for a while. Young lady, we have to keep praying. Your genotype will change. His genotype will change. But until it changes, don't marry. Wait. Keep coming after service. I'll keep laying hands on you. So whichever changes first, we'll know that God has healed you. We prayed one Sunday. Second Sunday, and the third Sunday, they were not around. When I saw them yesterday, they were wearing Anko. You know what Anko means? What happened? Say they are married. Ah, where? Yes, I couldn't wait, so we just paid, they paid this thing. My friend just bless us. We just. It's okay. It's, it's fine. And I'll bless them. After about, this was about 2006, after about one, two years. She them carry a child. <laughs> you can't sleep at night. I said, we sleep, oh. He must sleep. I said, but I warned you. You are in a hurry. Now they have three kids. And it's crisis every day. And I said, two of you are wicked. I said, you can bring your children for prayer, but you are wicked. Why would you bring children into this world? I said, what will it take you? There are healings that are instant. There are healings that are progressive. Maximum one or two months, your blood, your genotype will change. Why not you wait and enter healthy? A young lady, a young man did a test and it was HIV positive. I, I talk. There's no talk I didn't talk. She came from Warish, was worshipping here. I said, my daughter, don't marry this young man. Let him come for prayer. He was so proud. The young man says, not coming. I have my own church. I am not coming. I have my own prophets. Let him come for prayers. Daddy, you know, ma'am, he's very stubborn. Daddy, can't you pray on this picture that the HIV will go? I said, no. Let him come. He would say, I am not coming. I am a protocol in our church. The young lady entered into the relationship. The last time I was doing a crusade in worry, I saw an emergency very dry. Tears gathered in my eyes as I walked towards her. Papa, you don't know me again. You don't know me again. He went ahead to marry that young man. Hmm. Hmm. Dry. I nearly got married to my wife. We had an experience. A young lady came with a young man. The young man was in the car. I said, who is that person? He said, he wants to marry. I said, don't marry him. Daddy, I said, okay, come with him. Let me say it in front of him. So they came upstairs. I said, this marriage, we have problems. I said, we get married. I told her she got married. It was going to be three months and three weeks maximum. That's what the marriage will last. She said, hmm. 
It's not my portion. It's not my portion. As even the madman that is mad did not say it's his portion. Everybody rejected it, but it happened. Avoid this thing. So she left. About a month later, she came with wine. As usual, they wore and co. The young man said, he's not climbing upstairs. They should tell me to go to hell. He came with wine. And I said, what? He said, Daddy, we did our, our wedding. Daddy, four prophets confirmed it that is the will of God. That in fact, the way the glory of God came on the wedding, you will know God approve it. I hope you know what that means. Mockery. To mock me. That four prophets approved it. So it was an indirect mockery that you didn't hear God on this one. So me too, I followed. I said, are you serious? The glory of God came down. Ah! <laughs> gave me the bottle of wine i kept it i was quiet three months three weeks the young man was walking offshore decided to come to town to do so while he was sitting down a tree uprooted on its own and knocked his head i mean the tree uprooted and fell on him skull open she was already pregnant for him she came to the house i refused because mama that was begging i said me no no let her go to those prophets daddy the family say i'm the one that killed my husband daddy i'm pregnant you say i killed daddy help me i said me i know they are so i travel <laughs> mama started begging he said when you beat a child with one hand you draw the child with the other hand i said what if the other hand is not available <laughs> i said it was the two hand i used in beating her so the one to draw is not available I now drove. She might be watching me on TV now or something. I had to drive to the hospital, talk to the people, and how to pay the mortuary bill. It was a lot of stress. That was one assistance I gave grudgingly. God loved it, a cheerful giver. I wasn't cheerful in that one. <laughs> I was frowning. As I was paying the mortuary attendant, I frowned. While we were there, she, was, she collapsed. See, they were admit her. I see another money again. Ha! Ah. They put admission, put drip. So I was as I was going to the car to bring money, I was complaining. I was angry. Why? This was something that could have been avoided. I was frowning. I was angry. So I was driving back to our chair. I was angry. I said, What is all this nonsense? Why? Because people will not listen. You advise many of you young girls, once you're in a relationship, you become deaf and dumb. Nothing your main father in the Lord is saying again. The young man is deceiving you. How can you get married to a young man who has no respect for your pastor? That's your pastor. Are you sure he's using genuine power? Say, today is the last day you will call my line. Don't call my line again. A young man who has no regard for his own pastor. He has no regard for any man of God. That's the person you are in a relationship with. You are going to have crisis. Don't be in a relationship with a young man you cannot report to somebody because he doesn't fear anybody. He said, I will talk to your pastor. Say, my pastor, who be that one? I will talk to your dad. Say, my dad. I, I feed my dad. Everybody's at his beck and call. So he doesn't see anybody as anything. There should be somebody in his life he respects. When we respect people, it's because we choose to respect them. It's a choice. Am I communicating? It's a choice. Let me just give you one and then we'll, we'll, we'll close. I, number what? I'll stop in number 18 and then we'll pray because. What? Time. Amen. Struggling to win a man's love whom you know doesn't love you. struggling to win a man's love who you know doesn't love you if you have killed by your character or your attitude or nature the love a man had for you take a walk who doesn't love you doesn't love you when you try to win you buy him gifts you buy him shoes you buy him clothes he will collect those things and still not love you if he's not there he's not there and you know most young ladies are trapped most young ladies are deceived by people who are not blunt when a man is blunt he's a good man when a man is blunt 
He said, I'm not happy with you. I'm not happy with you. But the man, he said, say, okay, 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 okay. Uh, fine, okay, fine, fine, okay. That's a very terrible man. A blunt person is a sincere person. But most ladies don't like sincere people. They like actors. Actors. Who, who lie to you. Who you, you just cajole or just cajole you. So a man that's a true man must be somebody who is blunt. It's direct. Straight. My time is up. Thanks. Can I take a few questions? Can I take a few questions? Can I take a few questions? That's why actually I'm, I'm cutting time now because let me take like five or six questions. We ask that immediately and then we'll, I'll pray for you and we go into the next service right away. Can I take a few questions? If you have a microphone or you have a written question, if you, have a, if, if you want to ask, you can stand and raise your hand. Six question. My daughter, there you're number one. You are number two. You, there you're number three. My daughter from Gombe, right? You're number four. You, number five. Number six. Are you here in this program or you are raising your hand for something different? Number seven. Number eight over there. So you know your numbers. Are you number nine? Straight to the point, ask your questions. Please join me celebrate Papa in the house. And Mama. Papa, thank you for this opportunity. It's what I've heard today. If I have heard it in the past, some of the mistakes I made, I wouldn't make it. So I'm so happy to hear this today. And the question I want to ask, if you have been with a man who has not done the right thing, is it good for you to leave the man for him to come and do the right thing or with when you have children with the man so what should the person do if a man has not done the right thing before kids they won't do it after kids okay. because when a man feels a woman has given birth when a woman has given birth there is something inside the man that makes him feel he's almost through with her so if a man has not done the right thing before children come in, there is every possibility that he may not do it after children. Making a mistake is not a problem, but remaining in your in mistake is where the problem is. It's never too late to change. You make a mistake, change. Next, next question. Thank time. you very much, sir. Thank Shade, you. Time. There's a written question here. He said, can a woman that is divorced after 10 years remarry after the man might have remarried of course yes of course the bible says if the man is married you are no more bound so long you are sure he has gotten married it doesn't have to be 10 years if the man is married you are free to marry praise the lord Let's celebrate Grace in the house. Celebrate Mama for me. My question is, how do you know a man that loves you? You just know. <laughs> Second question, sir. What is wrong with when you, a man, you are cutting, you are three or four years older than him? What did I say about that? What did I say about that? Huh? I said maximum one or two years. Now, if somebody loves you, it won't hit you. Are you listening? The first sign you know a man loves you that he will not hit you. Any man that hits you does not love you. It's the truth. Number two, if a man loves you, he would care for you. 
Number three, if a man loves you, he will love your family. Number four, if a man loves you, he will love the way you love God. Are you following what I'm talking about? Get my books, Fall in Love and Not in Trouble. Maximizing Singlehood, How Singles Mingle. Get all that book and you get all that. I can't start going through that. If you get those three books, your mindset or relationship will change. Number three. Praise the Lord. Thank you, man of God, for this opportunity. I happen to be in a discussion with my pastor friend who said that if you want to, uh, you have to be totally submissive to your man. That even if you want to do fasting program and he disapproves of it. What then, man? What man? Your husband or fiance? Okay, I didn't get that one clear. I don't know. I didn't ask him if he's um, a boyfriend or a husband. Ask him. Okay. When, you, when you ask him, come and ask me. Because uh, your point three said he can't disobey God's word because of you. Ask him. When you ask him, come back and ask me. I'm talking of fiance on married people, not married. If he's married, you cannot even go into a fasting without your husband's approval okay. when you are married. Because the Bible says it's your head. You must get approval. But if you are not married, disobey him. So, so long it's against the word of God, disobey him. Number five. Is that number five? Four. Okay, you in front here. Oh, oh. Which is four? You are four. And she is four. Okay, 4A, 4B. Well. Please, I would like us to celebrate grace in the house. Let's celebrate our father and our mother. Uh, as uh, Papa was ministering to us, I was crying in my heart. I felt if I have listened to this message and had this opportunity five years ago, I would not have been crying today. Now my question is, I think some of us know me in this church how papa located me i have a serious problem that each school i go i get problems i don't finish i don't graduate i went to about four school before i met grace and i graduated october now my own question is now if you meet a man sir is it right you tell them your past sometimes i get to know that when you tell them your past they don't come back again i don't know why amen now let me tell you let me answer you this way a man who you love you tell your past naturally but if a man puts you under pressure to tell your past he will go if he's putting pressure under your own no but when you naturally tell him on your own this is the mistake i made this 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 and he says okay it's fine it's not going anywhere because it's not eager to know. But any man eager to know your past, your past, who you have been with, how many people, all of them, how many, how many, is going to walk away because what is interest about the past? But on your own, I would advise you, don't keep secrets about where you are coming from. Let him know. If you have a child somewhere, don't call the child your mother's last born. Or your sister's child that is abroad you are taking care of the child so this is my child this is who i am this is the mistake i made but all of these mistakes i made i made them when i didn't know the lord if he walks away something's wrong with him because he also has a past so you should be able to stand his past while he stands yours so anyone who leaves you because you willingly told him your past was never meant to be with you in your future Next, 4B. Please join me and celebrate the mama and papa in the house for this great gathering. I'm happy to be here today because I've not made any mistake. <laughs> Go ahead. Sir, please, my question is, is it necessary to parade with a man that I've not married to you? very unnecessary you understand that question is it necessary to be parading you are going everywhere together let's go and see movies you go 
why is it risky it's because when it breaks your heart that is how people will parade the news <laughs> so don't parade if he's telling people if he's, you are not married to him and he's telling people ah don't you know she's my wife warn him say if I hear this talk again are we married when we marry call me your wife so don't parade him thank you next question I will round up now if these hands are not. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Where are we praising the Lord from? <laughs> okay. I want to know: Is it um, necessary for a, a woman who the woman who have left the husband for like five years to go and marry? As the, as the husband. The husband asked her to leave the house. As the husband remarried. No. She can't marry. I'm sorry, that's the word of God. That's the word of God. She can't. Some men are just heartless and wicked. Bible says, so long the man is not married, you remain bound. You know what it means to be bound? Bondage. Are you following me? You cannot. Either he dies, does that pray for him to die? <laughs> because either he dies or he marries. So long he's single. Even if it is 20 years, 30 years, you cannot get married. Yes. That's why I don't make the mistake now that will make a man put you in that kind of condition. You cannot. The Bible says, so long the man is free, you know, you cannot remarry. The next question. Sir, there's a written question here. The lady says she has sugar diabetes at her early 30s. Can she go ahead and marry? Uh-uh. What has diabetes got to do with marriage? Well, that's one of the reasons you are here today. If you are sick, you'll be healed. That doesn't stop anything about marriage. If you want to get married, tell the man your medical condition. Let him know your medical state and God is going to heal you. There's nothing wrong in that. Celebrate grace in the house. My question is, if you have a spouse that always beats and always apologizes and says he does not know what came over him whenever he beats you, what should you do? Leave him and apologize. Tell him you don't know what came over you. That's why you left him. For your own good, if you are in the wheelchair tomorrow because of his beating, he will marry somebody else. If you are disfigured tomorrow and you know you are no more beautiful because of the way he has beaten you, he will marry somebody else. If he's beating you before marrying you, when he marries you, he will bury you. You are still answering your father's name and he has given you a scar. Now you are answering his own name, he will bring out your intestine. So don't any I, I'm serious. If a man lifts his hand, have you seen the way Abraham pampered Sarah? Have you seen the way people pamper their wives? It's not possible. If you love that person, you cannot. You protect. In this ministry, if you criticize me, I won't talk. I'm used to it. If you abuse me till tomorrow, I won't talk. But if you abuse my wife, if it's me, you can say anything. But if it's my wife, I will do praise and worship on your dead body. <laughs> Amen. So it's very important. You have to protect. He has, you have to see the way he protects. And it has been like that in courtship. Right from courtship. That's how I protected. I've kept. I can't touch her. Why? Any man that loves you will not lift his hand. If he lifts his hand, take off. Take off very fast. Change your numbers, change your line, change everything, change your address. And warn him not to come close because men like that don't change. If he beats you a lot, the only change he will change is that he will not beat you too much. He will reduce the beating. He already has the attributes. But don't go close to such a person. Is that all? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, sir, for this wonderful talk. A man, maybe for instance, you're in a world, you're in club life. 
mm. and you met a man. Maybe you slept with him. That is in the club, mm. and later on the man changed you. But I change you from that kind of life. Yeah, I make you to stop that life. Mm. Is, it, is it good to continue sleeping with that man? Mm-mm. It's wrong. You need to define. Wait, wait, wait. A man who has changed you from being that kind of person to a better person has a good heart. But what is expedient is different from what is correct. What I mean is what is necessary is different from what is correct. Somebody can do what is necessary but not do what is correct. Making you not to live that kind of life is a necessary thing he has done. But the correct thing is to define what he wants from you. Do you want to marry me? Or do you want to help me? If he changed you so he can be sleeping with you, then it's the same thing as doing it in the world. If he changed you because he wants you to live a different life, it's a different man. So define the relationship. He has to define it, what he wants from you. Until if, even if he defines it, he has to legalize it before you go ahead. Sir, but for instance, he says you want to marry. That is, for instance, you want to marry me. I've met like two of his uncles. Even right now, he's telling me that if I'm true from the program, I should come to their side. But the house he rent, we rented, we are living together, and I cooked for him. He eats. Can I still continue? No, that's why you are here. Don't, don't, excuse me, don't be violent, don't be aggressive. Sit with him. We are entering a new year. I've been cooking for you. Do you know that this is a new year. How is my life going? I mentioned a new year. How is my life going? What is your plan for me? Are you going to just keep me there? Meeting uncles and aunties is not bright price. You can meet anybody. That's not bright price. If you have met uncle, met auntie, don't be surprised. There might be other people who have also met uncles and aunties. It's who he pays on that is the wife. So tell him, if you can do all that, rent house, rent this, that means he can marry. Why is he not going ahead? Talk to him politely. And if he refuses, take your destiny in your hand. God will not fail you. Sir, we have a written question here. It says, when a mother sees you as a, as a lady who is well-behaved and likes you for her son for marriage, can such a relationship work? No. The son has to like you because it's not the mother that is marrying you. Another question here, sir. He said, can you also assist a man with money when you know he really needs the finance because you have it? Oh, you can sow a seed. <laughs> Since you have so much to throw around, sow it as what? A seed. <laughs> he says, can a girl marry someone who already has a child? Yes, you can. You must know the circumstances surrounding what happened to the mother of the child. Know the full story about the, a man can lose his wife, a man can lose his man, a man can be in the world and he had a seed. So know all that. Has he changed? Are you seeing the signs of change? Because if you are not careful, he has a child for somebody and he hasn't changed. You will also be one of those who have a child for him while he moves on. So know the circumstances surrounding it before you go ahead. Am I true? Okay, Daddy, there's a question here. Yes. Someone says, if a lady is in a relationship and he also tell you that you must be submissive and that he is the head who they just they just met, not less than one month, and the guy is already telling you that he's the head that the lady should submit. He's a big head. <laughs> it's not head anything. No man is your head until you are married. As a woman, submission should be a natural thing. It should not be because of a, a man. Respect should be natural. Respecting people should be a natural thing. When a young man says, you must tell him, sir. But every other young man that passed, you must not greet, sir. He's a stupid man. Because your respect should be normal. It should be a natural thing. Respect men as a woman. Any man. Respect men as a woman. That's how God made life. But the one that you must honor and be submissive to is the one that marries you. But for respect, give it to a man. Please, I'm out of time. Stand on your feet. Honey, please, let me say this. All right. Please, honey. I think a lot of uh, single sisters that you're having this problem of uh, a man telling them, if you don't take in, you are not pregnant for me. 
forget the marriage. So please, sir, a lot of people are having this challenge. I want you to encourage and throw more light on that. They just feel, if I don't get pregnant for this man, this thing is not going to work out. And they feel that should be the end of the relationship. Can I answer that? There are mistakes that cannot be corrected. Please, wait. Those of you, wait. I need to minister to the ladies. I promised them I was going to impact on them. Is that true? So please, don't join them yet. Just wait. In the next two minutes, you'll join them. I know we have a service right, right about this time. Now, listen to me. Do not make... Look at me. Mama asked a question. Let me answer it. Do not make a permanent mistake on a temporary relationship. Getting pregnant is a permanent mistake. Talking before you talk of get pregnant, you must have slept with the person. Is that not true? I'm saying don't even go towards pregnancy. Don't even sleep at all with someone you are not married to. Don't. Anybody you are not married to put an X. It's a sin. So when you understand that the issue of pregnancy will not even come up. No man who loves you will want a child or get pregnant before marriage. It, it will say, okay. Um, for, for you to for me to know you are fertile is that what they say in the hospital there is fertility test in the hospital there is what they call fertility test huh 13,000 18 so let him take you there say let's go I will do fertility test that will prove if I'm fertile don't make me pregnant to prove do fertility test lift your two hands to heaven we bless your Lord. Shut up, Gadash. We give you glory today. We worship you. We worship you. Zobo do 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 Hallelujah. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship. As we praise your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, Lord we lift our hands in worship. As we praise your holy name, for you are great, you do miracle so great. There is no one else like, like you. you. I know there is no one else. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one you do miracles so great There is no one else like you There is no one else For you are great You do miracles so great There is no one else like you And you are fairer, much fairer than the lilies that grace by the way. You are precious, more precious than gold. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, I want to you. You are brighter than the past. You are fairer, you are fairer, much fairer, much fairer, the lilies that grows by the way, you are precious, more precious, and you are precious, more precious, love you are precious, more precious, love you are precious, more precious. Than gold. 
you are entering into 2015 begin to ask god for grace all the mistakes i have made by reason of this grace today they are corrected and in 2015 order my steps 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 Thank you, Father. Lift your hands up. Father. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. I just had something in my ears. The Holy Spirit wants to release the grace for speed. How will God pay you for your years wasted? Speed. There shall be payment of arrears. Can I pray for you? Lift your hands, everybody. Hold hands together. Let's release God's spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, by your mercy, I'm not hearing you at all. By your mercy, everybody all over this auditorium hold hands together lift it up like the day of pentecost the anointing is going to hit everywhere and what is coming on you is the spirit of speed more than one quarter of the people here by 2015 will be in their husband's house by the anointing for speed hold those hands lift it up say jesus i believe your word i believe your prophet all the years that the kankawam has eaten the locust has eaten be restored i have heard your word i have prayed as my hands are lifted power of the holy ghost 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 fall upon me fall upon me no! Lord, there are 50 ladies. I release their wedding gown upon them. One, two, three, ten. Shakatuba Lavadash. Shakatuba Lavadash. Shakatuba Dush. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Look at what's happening there. Look at that on my right, on my left hand side. Look at power. Yagada Bada Bada Bash. Yagada Bada Bada Bash. Yagada Bada Bada Bash. Yagada Bada Bada Bash. Please, all of you, hold hands there. Yeah, 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 yeah. This place, lift it up. All of you, all of you. Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit, they have prayed, they have fasted. I come as an apostle of God to activate speed. Here, here, way to the back to activate speed. At the count of three, I take you from where you have been to where you should be. In the name of Je one, two, three. Hey, hey! I release speed upon you. Speed upon you. Recover. The right hand of God is power. Payasha. Even those watching me by television, all the single ladies who have made these mistakes or who have been kept on the spot I release you in the name of Jesus God is showing me four ladies here who have womb problem they did operation on, on you some time back what scares you from relationship is because of a womb there's a problem it's like you have womb issue you know because of operation they took out something that affected your womb Jehovah is giving you a new womb now You will not make a mistake in marriage. 
you will not make a mistake in destiny just the way I am not regretting you will not regret just the way I enjoy marriage may you enjoy marriage in the name of Jesus your time has come celebrate Jesus now during our 40 days past I will talk to the brothers for now I spoke to the sister during the 40 days past is the brothers I will talk to lift your hands let's worship God as we go into the next service lift your hands and worship it we give you glory now as we honor you lift your hands up we give you glory now as we honor you In Jesus' name, please, sisters, do not step out until you have dropped your offering on the altar, on the bowl. Ushers, just plant the offering bowls. Spread them in front. Spread the bowls in front. As you, as you drop the offering, go back and take your seat. Just come to the front, drop it. You go back, take your seat as we go into the next service. You are worthy. Say, I got my children in my mind. 